of what is up, you sexy beasts. Hey, the old six pack. We're live, we say we don't want it, right? Um, now, I come from a CrossFit background, a functional training background, and so I know that you know having a six pack is not the goal. It's a byproduct of doing regular, high intensity functional training. I also understand that building your core um, doesn't happen through isolated core exercises, but instead through bigger compound functional movements like the snatch, the clean and jerk, the back squat, the overhead squat. Those movements just demand so much from your core that you can't help but get strong at around the midline. But I did start off in the Globo Gym kind of space and I still love a good little isolated ab smash from time to time. So these three exercises I'm about to show you, I use them to, um, to both warm up for my, strength, for my strength training sessions because the research shows that if you do some isolated core work prior to strength work, that you will engage your core much better than if you just get into the strength training straight away. So there's real benefit in doing some core work prior to getting into your strength training. And sometimes when I'm out of time or I don't have equipment with me, I'll just do this to get a good ab smash because it feels good to get a good burn around the midline. So first one, you've all seen it. It's the hollow rock, uh, but often done wrong. So the first thing we're gonna do for the hollow rock, we're gonna start with the knees bend. Even if you can do them with straight legs, we're gonna start with the knees bend and the hands to the side. Now from here, we're gonna pull our ribs, so the bottom of our ribs to the top of our pelvis. Okay, so we're gonna tighten that right up. Now from here, we can slowly now take the hands overhead, straighten the legs out without losing that tension through the midline. And then from here, we're just looking for a nice shallow rock, nothing too crazy. And uh, if that's too hard for you, I'm shaking as I'm doing this already. If that's too hard for you, like I said, you can bring the knees in, still have the hands overhead. Or if you wanna make it easier again, you can bring those hands to the side. So that's the hollow rock. or oh, a little ab cramp, there it is. Probably my favorite uh, core exercise when it comes to functional training. There's so much carryover from that movement to gymnastics, it's crazy. So that should be a staple in your warm ups or if you wanna do some isolated core work. Now the next one, we're gonna be uh, on the hands and feet. It's called the mountain climber. There's a bunch of different variations. The reason I like this one is because you're getting your shoulders warm as well. You're getting your heart rate up. Uh, if you do it nice and fast, if you bring your knees in and do these nice and fast, you can get your, uh, get your heart rate up. And if you want to do a bit more controlled strength work for the midline, you can slow that right down. Now, the main mistake people make with this one is the hips come up, okay? If the hips come up, there's not enough room for you to actually bring the knees in. So you've got to try and keep those hips down and almost think about sliding your shins along the ground. You can also do these across the body to kind of get those obliques going. So that's another one I use all the time to get the shoulders, the core warm, and also get the heart rate going. And then number three, the dead bug. This one hurts, hurts good. So we're gonna line our backs, knees at 90, hands straight above our faces. And again, we'll get into a hollow position where you pull the ribs towards your pelvis. And from here, we're gonna go opposite leg, opposite hand. So I'll drop my left, left leg and my right arm will go back. We'll bring that back to the middle and then do the other side. Oh, see that? I wanna, wanna use my right hand as well. So good for coordination as well as core strengthening. So there you go, three exercises you can use to prepare and get ready for your strength training. Or you can do those, you know, do 15 reps, three sets, work through those three as a bit of an isolated core session if you feel like it. So guys, I hope you enjoy that. Keep functional training, big compound movements, your number one priority, but there's nothing wrong with a bit of, bit of ab goodness every now and then. Stay sexy, keep roaring love, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.